before we came live on air, we found out via Ari Mirov's Twitter account, Deshaun Watson has settled 20 of 24 cases against him uh, going into the season here now. We don't know what the settlement price is. We have no idea what happened with the other four, why they did not settle. And I also thought there was 26. So is there two missing from that, or did we just have stats and facts wrong until this was kind of put out? So all but four have been settled uh, for Deshaun Watson, which you would have to think this would be good news for Deshaun Watson and the Cleveland Browns when just like 10, 15 years ago, the entire world would probably say, oh, settlement means worst possible news for the person doing the settlement. Now we're in a world, I believe, and I might be misreading the entire thing, but now we're in a world where it's like, okay, we've seen this happen before. Does this mean he's definitely guilty? Mm, something probably, probably happened. Uh, did, he, did it mean that it was going to end up going to court and was all of them going to get guilty pleas on it? Maybe. Who knows with the evidence and everything that was happening before. So I think the truth will obviously be out there for a long, long time for us to find and pick through. But there has already been a narrative painted that we all will judge Deshaun Watson. Vastly <laughs> different, I believe, going forward. But I think the NFL appreciates this move. I think the Cleveland Browns will appreciate this move. I bet you Browns fans will appreciate this move. And to be honest, as a society, it was getting, you know, Every new piece of information that was coming out, it was just like getting more and more heartbreaking. Almost, yeah. like, I can't believe this is happening to somebody in the biggest league on earth, and they, they did this, and they're getting the biggest contract in the NFL. So I don't know how this came to be. We don't know why this didn't happen like a year and a half ago when everybody would have expected this to happen. We don't know why the alternative was chose where we would learn all this stuff, and we don't know what happened with the other four cases that are still pending and ongoing with a civil trial happening, I believe, starting in March of 2023 or something like that. Yeah. That is where the current thing is. So massive news coming out of this Tuesday, June 21st. Deshaun Watson has settled all but four cases. Now, yes. people are reporting that's 20 of 24. We thought there was 26 cases because two more were added. So would that mean that there's six cases that aren't resolved? And what are we missing here? Does this affect anything for Sue Robinson's judgment of the NFLPA, NFL, that she will take to Roger Goodell? What have we learned today, basically, with this announcement of the settlement that we all thought would maybe happen two years ago. Uh, it almost did happen a couple years ago. I mean, when where they are at right now, which is almost all of the cases settled, 20 of 24, I believe, 20 of 24 that have been officially filed, I believe is the proper way to say that. 20 of 24 that have been officially filed. Uh, this is like almost where things were when a trade to the, the Miami Dolphins nearly went down. Like this could have happened when well, two years ago, but it was, you know, seven or eight months ago, whenever that was in October before the trade deadline, had he been traded to the Dolphins, if that was about to go through, it would have been because he had settled all of these lawsuits. They were not quite there yet. The trade did not happen. Um, where they are now, I would say is significant. Um, I'm not sure it'll actually affect the discipline that the NFL gives him. Like, I don't think whether or not Deshaun Watson settles will alter what the punishment ends up being. But what it does mean is that whenever the punishment comes, and we are expecting it before training camp, so in the next, say, three weeks to a month, um, it will mean that this is all wrapped up. It will mean whatever discipline it is, likely suspension. It will mean, you know, the cases have been settled, assuming these next four some point gets settled and then that will basically be it he will serve whatever it is and then the league will go on we don't know shit about fuck when it comes to this particular world but all i can really um lean on and information is the johnny depp amber heard libel slander right that's fair that sure. was very public that was like six weeks long so the fact that there is still four official allegations against him with two potentially more on the way that is still six very serious things that are all gonna are those all gonna go to civil trial and how long is that that's months and months and months right at this point yeah i mean in, in his statement busby said today that the four cases have still not uh, yet been settled and they are moving forward uh, and I think that is possible. I'm not, you know, lawyers obviously say a lot of things. Um, we'll see if that happens. I think the fact that, you know, four of these cases were, uh, 20 of these cases were settled today, four remain unsettled, means that these four could be settled. Um, would not surprise me if they were eventually. I would say, you know, that makes sense. And this is all a, you know, in some ways, and this is just to boil down the not important part of it, but in some ways it is a negotiation because 
you know, money does change hands. Um, so we'll see if they get there and are able to settle those final four cases to at least wrap up the civil part of it. So here's what this would mean. Legal, uh, the criminal situation is over with two grand juries declining to indict. indict. The civil situation is almost nearly over with 20 of 24 settled. If the other four get settled at some point soon, then it'll be just the league discipline is all we're waiting for. Okay, and what do you think the reason is for this happening now as opposed to back then? Did they plan, did Deshaun Watson's camp, because he has been steadfast from the beginning that he was innocent. And then we heard a little bit of what Rusty Harden was pitching when he went on that Friday radio show in Houston and explained why there was no indictment and everything like that. Um, why were they going to go to 20 four civil cases was that the plan like we'll just go to every single court did they think that they were going to be able to get out of every single they, one? they meaning they meaning deshaun's side or busby's side? deshaun's side did deshaun's side say we will go to court for every single wasn't settlement basically going to be the outcome regardless or was there a real thought that he was going to go to 24 civil cases in a row yeah i would that that's hard to fathom and i think you know a settlement makes sense for a lot of reasons um, it makes sense in this case um, because, you know, while each of the um, each of the victims have separate stories, um, there are some some similarities, I would say, between them. So if you settle one for, you know, an, an amount that is uh, not yet been an amount and maybe some stipulations that have not yet been made public, then it would make sense to settle all of them. And I know it's not about the money, but these are civil cases and that is what. Civil. That's what the currency is, for lack of a better way of saying it. For criminal, it's is there jail time or not. For civil, it's is there money or not. And in this case, uh, obviously there is. It was uh, the agreed upon amount was was OK enough to settle 20 of these. And we will see if the final four gets settled. But to answer your question, like I, I think a settlement has always made sense if everyone could, you know, find the right terms to do it. And the fact that they got so close last October at least had me thinking that this would be the eventual outcome. We've learned a lot since last October mm -hmm. about Deshaun and everything in there, and I'm not sure the court of public opinion would ever change, and I wonder if that's why they decided to settle, uh, or if it was just so much evidence against it that was just like, hey, this all seems to be boom, boom, boom. The NFL, happy about what happened, though, here, right? Not happy that it happened as a whole. These are very serious allegations. Right, it's right. terrible that somebody in the NFL is being alleged to doing these I know things. What you meant. Yeah, but I want to make sure if people hear this out of context, they don't think right, that right. that's the case. So I gotta. But there, this Go is ahead. good for all parties here. I think, right? Uh, I think so. I mean, assuming that if the if the victims accepted the settlement, then I would say take that at face value and say that as an outcome that at least they are monetarily okay with. Nobody wants any of this to happen. I'm not saying any of this is good. It is all bad, and this doesn't make We it concur. Okay. We concur, yeah. Uh, yes, but the fact that, you know, they reach a settlement means in some ways it is, you know, okay for the victims. I think for Deshaun Watson and his side, this made sense to move on. Uh, now, he has been, you're right, steadfast in proclaiming his innocence. Um, I know he has been very consistent throughout, but, you know, at least this – basically will end one chapter of this, yeah. right? I mean, assuming the other four get settled at some point soon, you know, this will stop this right here. And then after the, you know, discipline is served, then there will be no more, I don't like to say loose ends, but I don't know another way to describe it. No more, you know, more, outstanding yeah. situations to monitor. This will simply end. All right. We will continue to keep an eye on everything, awaiting the NFL's ruling for how many games he will be suspended from the NFL.